Now at six, more coverage of the total solar eclipse. This is one of the many amazing images captured today from Illinois. Here in Chicago, people spilled out to the streets between one and two, including this crowd lining the Monroe Street Bridge to catch a glimpse. Look at the corona! Is that gorgeous? Oh my God! And our Ed Curran, perhaps it's the most excited and the best spot to see the whole thing downstate Carbondale. Good evening, I'm Rob Jones. And I'm Erica Sargent. We have live team coverage. Roseanne Teyes is at the Adler Planetarium. Jim Williams is on Daily Plaza. And Ed Curran is in the path of totality in Carbondale. That's where we begin. Ed? It was very exciting here, but you know, with the kind of heat, about 90 degrees, the kind of humidity, a dew point of 77 degrees, making it feel like 103, you can grow some clouds. And it was those clouds that made the early afternoon one of the most frustrating times of my career. Stationed near the point of longest duration, we watched the skies and cursed the clouds. The crowd joined in a silent prayer, knowing our total eclipse looked totally ruined. Waiting for years, traveling for hours, holding our collective breath for minutes as the sky got dark to match our mood. Then, what we never expected, the eclipsed sun emerges through a little notch in the huge cloud overhead. What an incredible feeling of eclipse euphoria. Disappointment turns to astronomical joy. This was it, the corona. We looked with our unshielded eyes. What a beautiful, stunning sight as locusts started singing and bats flew overhead. And just as it was about to disappear behind the clouds again, the beautiful diamond ring appeared as the moon slid away from the solar disk. Our slightly abbreviated eclipse wowed all of us. Clouds may have threatened our dream, but in the end, they made us appreciate the event even more. And it taught us all to never say never. Though we did say never for a little while there before it all changed. It was a great experience. Next eclipse, folks, total one right here in Southern Illinois in 2024 in Carbondale, Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica. Oh, well, we can't wait to hear your description of it then, too, Ed. Thank you. Yes. What great enthusiasm <laughs> for it. Thanks, Ed. Large crowd.